It's a nice variety of color. Really nice. Yes, these are what they call uh, calico ranchus or ranchus in general. Ranchu is known to have a wen but lacks a dorsal fin and a very short tail. The, I mean, this is going to look great in a pond. Without that dorsal fin, it makes the whole back becomes a nice little art piece. That's correct. When you look at them from the top, they squim. They more like wiggle around. They're very cute looking. They look very much like a, uh, you know, a compact goldfish. They have very large fins, a very curved back. And they swim very, very slow swimming fish. And very easy to enjoy in the pond. So, Ranchu, tell us about when, when these guys came onto the scene, like the, the yes, pond and aquarium yes, scene. Yes, uh, the Ranchu's been here ever since I've been growing up. Ever since I was a kid, I've seen them already. They've been here for hundreds of years already and developed a uh, couple hundreds of years ago. For the and so they've Chinese. done a lot of hybrids over the years? Yes, yes. They've been doing a lot of cross crossbreeding between different versions to create the ideal ranchu. Different customers like different types of ranchu. Some people prefer a top view ranchu. Some customers prefer uh, a ranchu that has a very thick thick wen on the, on the, side. Know, on the side. Okay, well. so you keep saying top view and I'm thinking about patterns, so let's be clear on yes. that. Top view ranchu would be the wind like develops all uh, sides. Top view ranchus are they have more of a squarish head with like a buffalo head coming out outwards. Okay. And then they tend to have the pattern like a koi fish just at the top. Just at the top. Okay. Yes. Uh, but we specialize in side view ranchus and lion chews, which are grown to be more more bigger head mm -hmm. and um, bigger body as well. So these are calico. Ranchus, right? So, what, give us the distinct difference between uh, tricolor because it's three colors, right? Yes. Give us the distinction between this when you're explaining to your customers. Sure. This one is what we call calico ran uh, calico ranchu. They have more of a what we call is they have like five different colors. They have spots of black. They have white. They have orange. They have some red as well. Um, there's uh, also what they call black ranchu, which is very black in tone. Uh, red and white, or what we call orange and white ranchu. This is what we call a kinrin ranchu. It has a very dark tone at the upper, upper, upper side, and then very lighter tone at the bottom. Kinrin with a K, right? Yes, it's a K I N R I N kinrin. Interesting, because when we talk about koi, there's a ginrin, which is the shiny scales, and yes. some of these have the shiny scales. You can see it in there. Yes. So uh, when you first said it, I thought. What you're talking about was it the same reference? So that's good to know. And and the difference distinction. See how this is polka dotted, and the tricolors that we had earlier. Those were more like black stripes and patches of black. Right. So the calico is, is that the distinction between the the, the spotted? Yes, they okay. have a. It's more of a mixed color with uh, black spots or black blotches around them. That's what makes it very distinct. There's a darker tone calicos, there's a lighter tone calicos. Calicos are just basically a mix of different colors. And then they blend together. And you said five colors. So the normal eye would see three colors, right? The you know white, black, and, mm -hmm. and orange. But you're getting kind of those blues and grays mixed in there because of the scale Correct. overlapping, right? So yes. we're calling this a five color fish, yes. not a tricolor fish. Yeah, it's more known to be called a calico. In Thailand, we call it a five color five color fish okay because the the blues you get sometimes you get the whites as well you get red and black mixed together sometimes yellow these are great they're so interesting because they have no dorsal fin i love that yeah they're very cute looking fish they swim around very cool to look at very slow swimmers very you know easy going fish uh what can we expect on life expectancy eight to eight to ten years like the other stuff yes on average maybe 15, 15 and 15 what about years. size Size wise, these guys could get, uh, body wise, they could get around seven to eight inches, body itself. And so their fins are way more compact than, than the, the butterflies and the arandas that we were looking yes, at earlier. Yeah. So the, they're going to say look at a little bit smaller because their tail's smaller. Yes. But the we, body's the same size as the other fish? Yes. We call it a, similar to a short tail. We call them okay. a short tail. So the tails are very short, very compact together, um, very high. Uh, like you can see, like a wen growth. There's different types of ranchus. There's what they call a hybrid ranchu, or a, what they call is a, it's a cross between a Japanese ranchu and a Chinese lion head ranchu. Uh, Chinese lion head, which uh, the, the, it's just like this type right here, they call it. The head grows outwards, very, very rounded head, very, 
very big wen on the side. And then uh, there's also the what they call a Japanese head ranchu, which is uh, not in the tub, but I'll be happy to show one to the okay for your viewers. I'm gonna go grab that guy for you. <laughs> 